Hey guys, welcome to my first video. Um, this is Dovahkiin. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to dress like Robert E. Lee um, from the Civil War in Red Dead Online. And note, this is not his outfit, this uniform that he wore for like all the battles and stuff. This is just from a picture that I have seen on uh, Google a few times. And to be honest, it looks like the easiest one to accomplish and run it online. And people are killing each other out there. So, no hats, but if you do want to go for a hat, I would advise for the, uh, if I can find it, the stalker hat in this nice kind of beige color. And, or, uh, well, that one kind of looks like crap. But the beige one. Or the one that I like wearing with it is the regimental hat in um, this beige kind of color and gray and yellow. Um, no eyewear, no masks, no bananas. For neckwear, you're going to want to wear the folded string tie in black. Um, for coats, you're going to wear the classic frock coat, I believe is what it's called. In this uh, gray color, I think there was another one, but it's kind of all supposed to be the same. Please ignore anything that you hear in the background. That would be my little brother. Um, you don't wear the paisley vest in this nice gray color. Um, let's see here for shirts. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what he's wearing as a shirt in the picture because the vest is so high buttoned and he's got most of it covered but in the picture it looks like he's wearing the collar over shirt which I would go with if it came in a cleaner white that didn't have the big white stripes on it if it came in just a plain white then yeah that'd work but what I went with was the everyday over shirt not everyday over shirt the everyday shirt in white because it looks very similar it's just not the rounded collar no suspenders because you're not going to see them. No gauntlets, no gloves. But if you did wear gloves, I would advise for the uh, the cavalry gloves. That's not what I'm meant to do. Let's go back down here. Um, no belts, no buckle. For weapons equipment, in the picture he's not wearing any gun belt or holster or anything. But what I went with was the... Uh, sharpshooter gun belt because it looked fine enough and it looked it looked good with outfit overall just whatever you feel like um, no bandolier of course for pants I went with the gray tuxedo pants because the entire outfit is pretty much just gray um, boots I went with gaiters in solid black because they look fine and um, they look very similar to the ones I was wearing in the picture no spurs, and there you go. Now, uh, if you couldn't afford the uh, the tie, I you could go with the bow tie. Um, let's ride on over to the barber shop, and I'll show you what hair and beard I have. If I don't get killed on the way over there. Ah. Okay, we're here. I came to that like the Kool-Aid man. Um, the beard is the Reverend Beard in color 13 because it's the widest one I could find. For hair, you're going to go with the uh, Neat Left Parted in 13. And you're going to put pomade in it. And that ought to be it. I hope you people liked it. Um, I must see about getting a video out of Robert E. Lee leading a few con a squad of confederates to attack uh, the fort. I don't remember the name of it. The the Fort Wallace. Let me see if I can lead people to go attack that. And uh, I just think that'd be a pretty cool video. And uh, I'm thinking about continue on trying to build make actual historical figures maybe maybe a couple of people from movies like I've been thinking about doing Stonewall Jackson 
uh, U.S. Grant Pickett or General Pickett, and um, yeah, I remember. Have a good time, and uh, have a good one. Bye.